Okay, in, in action learning, maybe we should start with problem solving. When people are given a problem, the natural tendency is for people to quickly go into answers and make statements and try to persuade each other. So the immediate thing is to into action. In action learning group, we recognize that's not going to be effective, particularly if you're trying to find a breakthrough strategy and you're trying to develop teams and leadership. So action learning has some different assumptions, but just like there are different assumptions between a manufacturing organization and a learning organization, so there's a difference between how tip problems are typically solved by groups versus how it's done through action learning. So in action learning, we recognize that really all deep learning in life, whether it's an individual or an organization, comes from working on a problem and solving a problem. So for action learning or any learning to occur in life and organization, you have to have an urgent, complex problem. The more urgent and complex it is, the more action you have to have and the more learning that has to occur. Second, we recognize that to learn as a team, probably to act as a team, to learn as a team, there's a certain size that's important. You want to have at least four members, but no more than eight, because you have to have people have to have reflective time, voice time, space time. They have to learn together as well as act together. And so we know that group size is important. Uh, we've all had experience of groups of 15 or 20, and they're never successful until four or five of them eventually take over the group. So the second element of a successful action learning is, the, is to have a appropriate group size. And you want people in the group who think differently. Unlike most problem-solving groups in which you only have experts, you have financial problem, you have financial people. In marketing, you have marketing. In action learning, you recognize that you want diversity in the group and that marketing people think differently from engineers. And if you want breakthrough thinking, you have to have engineers in the marketing problem because they ask questions and think differently than marketing people. So the second important element for action learning is to have a group of four to eight people with different perspectives. The third element is that we focus on questions rather than statements in action learning because questions will help us be more creative. They will keep us focused. They will develop our team and leadership skills and they'll keep us from jumping to an immediate solution to the wrong problem to being sure we understand the full problem, the root problem, so that we get a strategy, a sustainable strategy that solves the real problem and a full problem rather than a symptom.